So since my last video on Beam a couple of months ago, I've grown even more bullish on it. In today's video, I'm going to go over the new partnerships that Beam has had and also go over the ecosystem where there's potential 100x gems. And finally at the end, give you an updated price prediction. No one else has made a video with the amount of research as I've done, so this is the only video you'll need on Beam. Also, I have to say this, nothing in this video is financial advice. Beam used to be called Merit Circle, but they did a token migration to Beam because they realized nobody was going to buy this chart. Beam is a multitude of things. It's gaming infrastructure because they have their own blockchain. They have their own gaming studio called Vermilion Studios, which is actually releasing a huge game soon, which I expect to be a good catalyst for the price on Beam. More on that in a bit. But they've also got this treasury where they invest in other gaming projects and use the profits from that to buy back and burn the Beam token. I've always been talking about Beam as one of the best risk adjusted players in crypto gaming and the chart is showing that. The relative strength that it's had is incredible. Anytime you see a long tail wick like this and the candle closes green on a huge dip days, it's an indication of buyer demand. If you look at Gala for example, it closed red and the wick was quite short and in the subsequent price action you can see how it hasn't been holding up too well. Anyways, for the tokenomics of Beam, this low unit bias over here is really important. I have newer investors joining my Discord asking me if it can go to a dollar, which is like a 50x. I'll assess whether it can at the end, but that just shows you the importance of low unit bias in a token. For example, if you compare it to something like Luvium, nobody is getting excited for that token price. Let's put ourselves in the shoes of a retail investor. They have to choose between two coins. One is ILV and they want a 50x. Do they seriously think you can go to 5k? Nope. Even they're not that naive because it sounds expensive. Beam on the other hand, they'll think, yeah, if I buy this at 2, 3, 4, 5 cents, I can see it is still going to a dollar because it still sounds cheap. And that's how you have to think of things in crypto. You have to step outside your own mind and consider how others will think. As for the tokenomics themselves, look, most of crypto gaming, the tokenomics are really bad. When you buy it, you're either subsidizing development costs for the project or being someone else's exit liquidity when they farm free tokens from nodes or the P2E game. I made a video on GFAL where I voiced the concerns over the tokenomics and got a bit of hate. Look at the beam over GFAL chart. If you watched my videos at that time and you listened, you'd be 2.5 or spare off. That just goes to show you why it's important to listen to people who actually do proper research in crypto. Sorry if you're a GFAL holder by the way, I'm not trying to foot. I'm sure as more of the supply unlocks, it might do well later. I just wanted to use this as an example of how in the bull run, some coins underperform. You can't afford to blow the next 24 months not properly researching tokenomics because they really do matter. You need to consider the opportunity cost of holding one token versus the other. Beam on the other hand has really strong tokenomics. 77% of the supply is circulating. I did some further digging and found that 7 billion of the remaining supply that's left is the team's tokens and that's cliffed until 2026. Clift basically means locked and it just shows you the conviction and belief that these guys have in their project. The rest of the supply is seed investor that is vesting over the next 18 months which is like an 11% increase which isn't too bad at all. Now that the supply side is covered, the utility and demand for this token is really where it shines. So first of all, as more games go live on their blockchain, Beam is going to be used for gas which is a source of demand. And second, Part of that gas fee is burned. That means if Beam has games which gain a lot of adoption, it's going to directly have an impact on the tokenomics. Then we've also got the Beam SDK and the Sphere Marketplace, which generates a 2.5% burn. If you would like to see my full report I've made on Beam, you can join my Discord. It's in the reports channel. It's free right now, but I will lock it soon because it's growing too fast. I've mentioned, in, I've mentioned the treasury in the past, but today I'm going to break it down in a bit more detail because this is really where the potential for Beam lies and what makes it unique. So 20% of the profits from their investment is converted to USDC to invest in more projects. 5% is allocated to Bitcoin and Ethereum, which makes sense to keep the treasury growing long term. Now here's the interesting bit with the treasury mechanism. 15% of the profits that they make from investing in projects is used to buy back and burn the BEAM token. 60% is used to provide a floor for the BEAM token. And if you actually look at what happened the other day, you can see this huge wick up and I actually think it was the Beam, Beam team or the MerryCircle team that provided this support and it just shows you how this mechanism that they've got isn't BS and it really does make a big impact on how the chart looks and what people think of the Beam token. Now you might be thinking what do they do with these tokens when the price nukes and they buy up the tokens? This is essentially what they do with it and they recently did it when they partnered with 
Pantera Capital and Framework Ventures. What they do is they buy Beam to support the token during dips. They sell sell that Beam to investors with lockups or they burn it. If they sell it to investors, the investors give them USDC to fund the treasury and the Merry Circle DAO, aka Beam, invests in projects and collects profits. And then that cycle just keeps on repeating. So I just want to bring your attention to this tree over here. It's talking about the Merit Circle tokenomics, but remember that they did a 100 to 1 split. So the 631 million Merit Circle tokens that were in circulation before are now just the 63 billion BEAM tokens. So if we apply his logic, he's expecting that the BEAM token supply goes to around 30 billion. If that was the case, I could see BEAM reaching a dollar. But the problem is, really what you're relying on is this treasury balance increasing over time and because of the sectors and investments that they choose which is crypto gaming if this treasury does a 10x then the beam price is also going to do a 10x probably which means it's going to be even more expensive to actually buy this token and burn it that's why i don't think it's realistic at all to say that the supply can reduce that drastically unless of course there's crazy adoption of some of the games in their ecosystem but the point i'm trying to make is you can't look at things like this and get overly excited because if this was realistic, I really do believe that getting close to a dollar is achievable. Anyways, I'll give my price prediction in a minute. But for the updates, we have a huge one here. Three weeks after my video was made, Pantera Capital, the biggest VC in crypto, has partnered with Beam. This is important because it leads the way to institutional interest in Beam. Also, you can see how the price rallied after that announcement. I think buying under where that announcement came from is good value, not financial advice. They're also partnering with IMX, so now they're on Avalanche, IMX and Polygon. They're working together rather than competing. They also have a huge game coming out on consoles, Forgotten Playland. I've only ever seen one other game get onto major consoles and that was off the grid. As for the ecosystem, there's a couple of interesting players on the Beam ecosystem. The main meme coin is Bcat, which the CEO interacted with. I'm not saying for you to go and buy it, I'm just giving you information. I'm interested in seeing if Forgotten Playland has good tokenomics when it launches because it could be a nice beta player for Beam. There are going to be good gems on the Beam ecosystem. If you want to keep up to date with any gems, join the Discord because I'll be tracking this stuff in there and keeping you up to date. Anyways, I'm going to sum up Beam in one sentence to recap this video. I kind of view Beam as like the apple of crypto gaming and an ETF for it. It's the most premium brand with arguably the best tokenomics and competitive mode of almost all crypto gaming tokens. It's going to be extremely hard to make this token irrelevant because they've got a grip on most of the gaming industry in crypto. If you're bullish on crypto gaming, then you're bullish on Beam too. I always say pick one winner and one gem from each narrative. That way you limit the number of tokens in your portfolio. It forces you to choose wisely. Beam is my gaming winner. And I suggest that you guys write down somewhere the reasons why you bought every token that you hold. That way you have conviction if the price drops 50%. And please, for your own sake, don't let that reason be because a YouTuber told you was good. As for my price prediction, I'd say 10 to $20 billion is a reasonable target. If the burns do start coming into effect and the supply drops to say 40 billion, then I do see a scenario where it could go to 50 cents, which would put you at $20 billion market cap. That being said, that would be an absolute dream scenario and I'd only hold a tiny percentage of my bag for that long. You also have to remember how there's about 6 billion or so tokens coming onto the market in the next 18 months. A good rule of thumb for you guys is, with every single one of your bags, figure out what the consensus target is. You can do that by looking at tele Telegram or just asking people and divide whatever that number is by 3. If everybody wants a dollar for Beam, you need to divide that target by 3. So I'd sell at 33 cents. Never do what the crowd is doing in crypto. The market never gives everyone what they want. Also, if we're lucky enough to add during this dip here, I believe that would be an easy 20x or so if we sell at around 33 cents. No financial advice. As for the risks, to give you a balanced point of view, keep in mind that whilst most of the team have locked their tokens and some investors, they can still hedge their position on perps, which can impact the price. The biggest risk for Beam is the treasury during the bear market. What can lead to success during the bull can also be what scarborates the downside because if they don't take profit on this and people see this value shrinking, it's going to be really bad for the price. There's also a general smart contract risk, delays for example, which is why you never go all into one project no matter how good it seems. I would consider Beam a one cycle hold. 
to get true crypto adoption in gaming will take a long time and it will happen in the next one to two years. Anyways, if you found this video useful and if you think this research was good, join the Discord because I'm going to post even better stuff in there. And there's several people in there who are really good at finding gems, so you can use them too. It's free right now, but I will lock it soon, so make sure you get in before it does.